Hello YouTube. Matches. Yes, they can get wet. Yes, you can run out of them. But other than this, they are cheap, lightweight and very effective. So this is one of my favorite methods to light a fire. These are simple normal matches from the supermarket. So to light them you will need this special surface. Everybody has its own way to strike a match. Like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, or whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't break the match stick. You don't need this whole surface to light one match. A small, small portion of it is enough. In windy conditions you will have to protect uh, the flame to, to make uh, a windskin from your hands. So like this. If you light the match and then you keep it in an upright position it, won't, it will not burn completely. It will extinguish soon. See? If you strike it and keep it upside down, it will not extinguish, it will burn completely, but it will also burn your fingers. Like this. So, if you keep it upright, you will have a small flame that will extinguish soon. If you keep it upside down, you will have a big flame, but you will burn your fingers. The way I do it is I strike the match, I for a very short time keep it upside down, then I keep it horizontally. This way I will have a steady flame that will completely burn the if it's necessary, I will slightly tilt the match um, just to keep the flame from extinguishing or to get a bigger flame, but without burning my fingers, like this. If you have a partially burned matchstick, don't throw it away. Put it near a new one, like this, and strike it. You will have a bigger, much stronger flame. One more thing, the flame is hottest not at the base but at the tip. So if you want to light something, don't keep it close to the matchstick, keep it near the tip of the flame, like this. That's all my friends, I hope you like it, bye bye.